Hi everyone, welcome back to Technical Portal YouTube channel on a new video of Microsoft Excel VLOOKUP series that is running into my channel. So friends, today in this video we are going to learn about the usage of the lookup function to get the latest value of your database. To look up the most recent price or cost for an item in a list of your database where latest item appear last, you can use a formula based on the lookup function. In this example, I will show you the total process. So here you can see that I have a database which contains product, date and cost and here we will use our formula. So at first we are going to use the drop down menu to actually get the product name without typing. So select that cell where your lookup value will be provided then go to the data then here click on the data validation then here select allow as list now in the source select your item list source range from the table you want to look up then click on ok look at here and down arrow has been showed click on that you will find all the items or product in the drop down menu so suppose we select cpu then we are going to use the formula in g7 cell so what will be the formula we are going to use the lookup formula equals to lookup then look at here it is asking for lookup value and here type as 2 put a comma now here the trick will be applied in lookup vector type 1 divide it open the bracket here select the range of your product I am selecting it that is from B5 to B13 you can press the F4 key from your keyboard to lock this range as absolute reference right then here put a equation symbol and our item will be matched with the item that contains in F7 cell so type F7 here close the bracket put a comma now it is asking for result vector now note carefully that this one is our lookup vector now it is asking for result vector so our result vector that means what we are looking for we are looking for the cost so select the cost range you can also press the F4 key from your keyboard to lock the reference as absolute reference now simply close the bracket and hit enter button look at here the latest cost of CPU as you can see that this one is old one this one is also old one and this one is latest one so that means this one actually shows you the latest cost with the formula we have entered and if you change your lookup value or product you can say then it will show you the result accordingly right so let's check how this formula actually works the lookup function assumes data is shorted note that carefully and always does an approximate match if the lookup value is greater than all values in the lookup array default behavior is to fall back to the last previous value this formula exploits this behavior by creating an array that contains only numbers and errors then deliberately looking for the value number two which will never be found lookup searches the array for a value of two falls back to the last one and returns a value at the corresponding position in the result array the lookup function looks for two then falls back to the last one position that one is in that array and returns at the last found item on the lookup array as a price of dollar six 
So that's all for today friends. Hopefully you like this video. I'll come back soon with another interesting video and I will give you the link of this workbook in my description box. Please check the description box. Share this video with your friends. Share your opinions as well as your queries in the comment section. Keep learning, keep supporting this channel and keep practicing.